friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. Today I have another empties video for you guys. I feel like the last one was so long ago, but it's taken me forever to like empty some things. So without further ado, let's just go through, and this looks ridiculous, let's just go through the bag and see what we have. So the first thing that I'm seeing in here is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Wipes. I love these. I love the Hydro Boost line. I also have the sunscreen. It's amazing. I really like it. It feels great on my skin. It doesn't feel stripping or drying. Um, I don't typically use makeup wipes, but if I'm like dying, tired, I need to take off my makeup, I'll reach for these. And then I have the normal Neutrogena makeup removers. I like these, but I prefer those ones, so I'm gonna switch entirely to those ones. And then I also have two Tony Moly lemon masks. This one is the layering mask, so this came with little lemon patches. And then this one was the gel face mask. I did use both of these, I loved these. I feel like they really did brighten my skin and added lots of hydration, which I love. Next, I have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. This one I really loved. I've kind of gone back and forth with different cleansing oils. I think I've only purchased one of these so far, but I did like it. I switched over to the Origins one, um, and I'm seeing how I'm feeling about that one. I do really like that one too. That one doesn't sting my eyes as bad as this one does. Um, before this, I was using the MAC Cleanse Off Oil Tranquil, but I believe they discontinued it. I'm not quite sure. I um, but I switched over to this one and I really did, I did like it. I like the Kiehl's line, they're pretty great products. The only thing is they're a little bit more expensive than like what I'm trying to pay most of the time. So I don't know how often I'm going to buy this. I really like it, but we'll see. Next I have the Cara Color Color and Conditioner. This one is in silver. I used that one on my hair just a little bit ago um, to help kind of tone the ends because they were getting pretty pretty yellow. This one was okay. It smelled really good in my hair. It felt really nice too. My issue with it is I felt like it didn't really tone a lot. It did a little bit, but not as much as I would like. The Viral Color Shampoos I really love. I think I gave one of mine away. I don't know why I did, um, but the Viral Shampoos. Those ones are the best. I love those ones. Next, I have the Soap & Glory Righteous Body Butter. I have another one of these in the bathroom right now, and I've gone through a couple more of these before. Love this lotion. It feels great on my skin smells amazing um, and it's just an overall a great lotion um, it's great for like elbows and knees when you're getting really dry I use it straight out of the shower and my skin really does feel like hydrated all day next I have the Myers clean day honey suckle hand soap this we had in the bathroom for a little while I really like the Myers products right now we have the peony um, like all-purpose spray I love the smell of that one I know that's like super random but I love Myers products these are great then I have two of the Walgreens brand advanced scar gel I use these on my legs because I had eczema pretty bad um, over the past year and it's now cleared up but I have a lot of scarring so I'll use that pretty much every day um, along with some Palmer's cocoa butter like stretch mark lotion and my scars have definitely gone down quite a bit. They're not quite where I want them to be. They're still kind of scarred, but I think um, by summertime, it'll definitely clear up a lot. It's improved quite a bit over the last few months, so pretty, pretty happy about that. Next, I have a Fix Plus in the coconut scent. I don't know if I have to say much about Fix Plus, because I think we already know that Fix Plus is like the, the tits of the tits. Um, I have a lavender one right here favorite scent of all time. Love Fix Plus. I use it before my makeup. I use it after my makeup. I use it to spritz my brushes. I use it for everything. It's amazing. Next, I have an Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. The conditioner I go through a lot quicker than the shampoo. I don't know why, but I love Olaplex products. Since I've started using Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, I have not switched to anything else, and I refuse to because it made such a difference in my hair, just the strength that my hair has now compared to how it used to be. It's insane. I love Olaplex. They're more expensive than I would like them to be, but for some products, I definitely believe that it's worth the money, and Olaplex is one of those things. Next, I have a pair of the ColourPop Mommy False Lashes. I loved these. R.I.P. Mommy Lashes. These lashes were gorgeous. They were thick. They were long. Um, they didn't last very long. I accidentally ripped some of the hairs out. <laughs> Oopsies. But I love these lashes. These looked amazing, and I they're only like 10 bucks, so I'm totally gonna buy another pair. I know that they're um, warehouses are shut down right now due to everything that's going on. So I won't be ordering anytime soon, but maybe when this is all over, ColourPop, I'm gonna hit you up, girl. Next, I have three MAC lashes. I have 48s, I have 35s, and I have 75s. I just found out today that they've discontinued 75 lashes. 
why they're so long they're so thick they're so gorgeous they're a lot like the ColourPop mommy lashes but like a little bit longer and a little bit more like bloop 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 so like i am devastated by this 75s are some of the best mac why why <laughs> next i have an old spice pure sport deodorant I love men's deodorant. Then I have the Skin to Mit Skin Therapy Lotionized Vitamin E Shaving Cream. I go through multiple of these. Um, this is the only shaving cream that I'll ever use. It honestly makes my legs feel very, very smooth. It helps prevent razor bumps and burn, and I cut myself way less when I use shaving cream than when I don't. I judge people who don't use shaving cream. I judge you. Then I have two of the Urban Decay Brow Blades. I'm gonna take this out again because it looks ridiculous. I have the brow blade in taupe trap and in neutral nana. I love these pencils. The pencils were so nice. They're super creamy and ridiculously thin and the pens were nice and pigmented, but they weren't like too dark. My issue is that the pencil ran out so quick and then as soon as the pencil ran out within it was like a month the ink dried up almost immediately which is so disappointing because these are kind of expensive but i love these these are such great products if i had a disposable income um you can bet that i would be stocking up all the time but i don't know i change up my routine pretty often and i don't really feel like dedicating like 23 dollars each time i want to buy an eyebrow pencil then i have a glade candle um this one was something teak wood I'm pretty sure smells really good it's disgusting right now because it's been at the bottom of this bag for like a month two months but uh, I love Glade candles I don't really burn candles as much anymore I'm more of an incense person right now um, I also have my wax burner that I like to use as well I'm really particular about candles I try and find only like soy wax candles I don't do paraffin wax anymore because it's bad for cats I read um, not that incense is like probably good for cats either but I don't know um, but I read that paraffin wax is bad for cats and they can't inhale it properly so I switched over to like entirely soy candles I have another Urban Decay product. This is the Rehab Makeup Prep Lip Love. This is so old. I had forgotten about this for so long and then I opened a drawer randomly one day and I was like, oh my God, where did you come from? Um, I never got to finish it, which is so disappointing, but it went bad. So I'm never going to finish it, which is disappointing because it was really nice. But I'm pretty sure they discontinued this entire line of products. If I'm not mistaken, I could, I could be wrong. But yeah, I'm so sorry, Lip Love. I never got to love you properly. Next, I have a hand sanitizer. This is the Bath & Body Works Sunshine & Lemons. I love this one. I kept this on my brush belts at work, and every time I'd sanitize my hands before a client, somebody would always comment on how great my hands smell. I'm like, thank you. Bath & Body Works, man. Then I have a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is a really gorgeous powder. It's super natural looking. It feels great on the skin. It's not drying either. Um, definitely has more of a skin-like finish. I pretty much scraped whatever I could to get the last out. I haven't used this powder in a hot minute because I haven't really been powdering my entire face, but when I used to, this was all that I used. This one is in Light Plus, and I would just dust this all over. I moved on to Bigger and Better Things, aka my Hourglass Baby, but she's a good one. She's a great powder. I have another MAC powder in here. This is the Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in Light Plus. I only have a tiny bit left in here, but I've had this for so long that I'm just I'm just gonna toss it. It's a great powder. It's really sheer, but very matte, so it's perfect for more oily skin. I used to use this to set my under eyes and my T-zone. Great powder, but again, I've moved on to bigger and better things. I'm sorry. This is gonna be a short one. I have um, only a couple things left in here. By couple, I mean like 10 things. Um, but this is the Strobe Cream and Peach Light from MAC. I feel like I have at least two of these in every video. It's great. I love strobe cream. I have another one right here that I'm going through. I just ordered another one because your girl's almost out. But I love strobe cream. I love using it for that ultimate just glow from within. Also, I just, I love the smell of this. And I know some people don't like the smell of it, but they're wrong. Next, I have two eyebrow gels in here. I have the Benefit Give Me Brow, which is wiped off completely, and the ABH Clear Brow Gel, which is wiped off completely. This one's a great tinted one. It has nice fibers in it that kind of build up the brows. And this one's clear. This one holds your brows down like hairspray. If I had to choose between one of these, this girl, this girl every day, every day. 
When I say it has a hairspray hold, I mean it has a hairspray hold. The clear brow gel is the only of the brow gels from ABH that I actually like and that I can find a shade that matches me in, um, but I am obsessed with this product. If I could buy a million more, I would. I'm right now just using the MAC brow gel in Beguile. Um, once I'm out of that, I'm totally out because they discontinued it. But I did just pick up a new, and by pick up, I mean I ordered a new brow gel, so we'll see how I feel about that one. I have another brow pen in here. This is the MAC Fling Shape and Shade Brow Tint. So the Shape and Shades have a powder on one end that comes in a little sponge. You can kind of go over the brow, and then it comes with a pen on the other side. This one's Fling, so it's really light. It's also dried out to Shiat. But the Shape and Shades are great brow pens. If you really just want a quick fill, you can honestly completely ignore this side because this side lasts forever. I have to use Spiked, which is the second to last darkest color because um, that is the only color that shows up my brows either at all or shows up not totally red. But I really love them. The Shape and Shade brow tints are great great brow pens. Next I have the Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. This was a scrub that I got in a free gift. I love this. I love Origins. I love their products. It was a little harsh but once you mix it with a little bit of water it immediately kind of calmed down and it did definitely gently exfoliate the skin. Right now I don't have the physical exfoliator that I love. I've just kind of been making the rounds on different exfoliants um, but I'm still using the Ole Henriksen toner and that one is also that one's like a chemical exfoliant but I love a good physical scrub maybe once a week just to really sloth off any dead skin. If you have a recommendation for a really really great scrub um that's not an apricot based scrub please let me know in the comments down below because i'm i'm on the search girl i am i'm looking <laughs> so next i have the sunday riley ceo glow vitamin c and turmeric face oil this one i got in a lower beauty box this one is a full size i really liked this did i feel like it made much of a difference in the brightness of my skin no but it did hydrate which i really liked I would apply this before bed every other night. I kind of switch on and off between either using an AHA moisturizer um, and then this one and then more of like a calming moisturizer with no active ingredients. The one thing I will say about this, I hate the way it smells. I think it smells terrible. I think it smells disgusting. And it's also pretty overpriced, so I would not repurchase. The one that I like the most is the Ole Henriksen, the Truth Serum, the Vitamin C Serum. That one, chef's kiss. We're almost done. Next, I have the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. If you know, you know. This one is a great moisturizing eye cream if you have a really dry eye area like I do. I have eczema around my eyes. It sometimes pops up my arm, my neck, and my legs too, but my eyes is always the hardest part because uh, you can't really use any creams on it. You have to be very gentle around your eyes, so I love this eye cream because it is so hydrating. I've gone through at least five of these, if not more. And I'm going to continue to do that because this is a majestic product um, that is pretty much like cemented itself into my skincare routine and it's never going to leave. Next I have the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Laced. It's just a neutral taupe shade. This was my absolute favorite back in the day um, when I exclusively used Urban Decay products. Every look, every look that I ever did, I would use this eyeshadow first. And my makeup has definitely advanced since then. I know how to mix different colors and different eyeshadows, um, so I don't need to rely on just this color every time I do eye makeup, but it is still a good color. I don't know if they still carry it. I know they discontinued quite a bit of their eyeshadows, but Laced was always a good one. This was from the original Vice palette. I never got the original Vice palette, and I was salty about it, so I tried to buy as many of the shades that came out in singles as humanly possible. Next, I have the MAC True Brunette Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. If you've ever tried the ABH Dip Brow, it's pretty much the exact same, except that I would say that these dry out um, a lot less quickly, and they're a lot more creamy than the ABH ones, but there's only like three shades, so... For the longest time, I did more of a uh, sculpted brow, one might say. So I exclusively use this, but I pretty much rely on like a little bit of pencil and some brow gel to get by, and I feel like my brows do just fine. Final product that I have in here, we're done, I know, is the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. This, I've only gone through one so far, but I love this stuff. This is amazing. It really does help keep your lipstick on a lot longer. It keeps your lipstick smoother for longer. Um, it helps with bleeding outside the lip line. It's a great product. 
I have told this story before, but I'll tell it again, and this will probably not be the last time I tell it either, but I used to not believe in this lip primer because I thought that lip primers were totally phony and did nothing and then my manager made me put one in my brush pouch at work and I continuously used it until I fell in love with it and now I have to use it every time I do makeup on somebody I, I have to all right and that is it for today thank you guys so much for watching I hope you really liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me all of my social media is down below so if you'd like to follow me elsewhere that's all down in the description. Don't forget to go out and register to vote. I have a link down below where you can register immediately and don't forget to stay home today. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.